I'm here in Andre Badesh with um, rice from the paddy fields from Cyclone Chong's damage. And on the right here, we've got the chemical farming, and on the left, we have the natural farming. What actually happened with Cyclone Chong is this paddy fields, they went down and laid like that on the ground. And this one, natural farming, just stood up right beside it. And what we've done, put these straws through the microscopes that I brought over from Australia. The visuals will actually tell the story without me going much further on it. On the left side here, the cell structure of the natural farming, because that there, and on the right here, we've got the chemical farming, is our proof of the strength of those straws and why this one here on my right is gone like that and lodged. And this one on the left, stood up like that and didn't move in Cyclone Chong. So it's just showing that this plant in the natural farming has got a lot more turga pressure than the chemical farming side. So that gives that plant a lot bigger in the straw. The straw is a lot thicker and in the chemical farming the straw is about as thick as my fingernail. The people that lost their uh, crops in Cyclone Chung I feel desperately sorry for them, cause, but natural farming side by side is absolutely no question. And if people question it, the photographs of the visual of where the crops are lodged and the natural farming is standing up, and these photographs of the, of the straw, then I'm not too sure what people are seeing. It's just proving that the strength of the natural farming was far superior to the chemical farming. Because when I heard about the cyclone, I asked if they could get some straw for me, because it said there was going to be a great story. I didn't expect it to be such a great story.